Make sure you vote in the Grant's waifu poll. <laughs> it is neck and neck between two of the sexiest characters <laughs> in StarCraft II. <laughs> Unfortunately, Flaming Betty is not as hot as these other two. She only has 14 votes. <laughs> what a shame. What are we doing on Media Blitz? What would be a fun way to play this mission? I can't think of anything. None of the... I think this might just be the time that I go Mass Void Rays or something. Reavers? But they have a lot of air units. And the air units have those Banshee Explody missiles that kill everything on the ground. Infinite Stasis? Oh! So do you mean, like, I should fly up behind the objective, spam stasis on everything, and never actually kill any of the attacking guys, with s just keep them permanently stasisted as I do the objective? I like that idea. That's fun. Let's get some Death Recall DTs. Whoever said that is a very smart person. Hmm, what else should go with this? I guess the remaining units don't matter too much. Corsairs might be okay, just to de-web the area. I'm not going to use any of those. Orbital gas is good. I'm going to need to get all those ASAP. I'm not going to kill anything, so I think I want mass recall so I can get home after I do it. And reconstruction beam. Phoenix solo everything. We're not killing anything, though. The moment has come. Let us begin. Thought you'd never ask. So I'm going to be playing this a bit weird, but I don't want to kill the bases. So instead, I'm going to clear out the expansions. Both of them. This is going to be so dumb. I'm really excited for it, actually. So I'll be able to take both Expos ASAP. I can fly behind that one easy. I can fly up this side real easy. I can get behind this one really easy, too. This is just going to work, isn't it? It's going to be a beautiful strategy. Like Tychus likes it too, and generally he's all about the murder. I thought that would pull more people. That was a really bad waste of my energy. Also, Repair Beam Odin seems pretty good. I guess Odin is going to be my defensive tool here while I set up the Arbiter thing. Then we just shift Q these down. Oh, this pole is so close. I can't believe that Karax isn't winning, you guys. I think people voted for their own waifu. Not for... Not for mine. Solendus apparently winning the poll. 74 votes for her, 65 votes for Karax. And then third place... Very much so trailing is Flaming Betty with 21. I like it. This'll get her done. Let's take down this expansion. Rock and roll. Thank you, Flash Striker. See, I think that's actually it, is that the people that were like, well, there's only one waifu on this list voted for Solendus. But the people that have taste. The people that are super, super classy are, they split their vote between Karax and Flaming Betty. So, it became like one of those elections. Thomas579, subscribing with Prime, thank you so much. So here's the thing about Solendus, and I'm going to talk about this for a sec because it matters. I was going through Legacy of the Void screenshots to make thumbnails, and Solendus doesn't have a face. 
Now, like it. I I know it's a little bit weird, and we shouldn't be talking about this stuff on stream, but I actually am attracted to women with faces. And I'm sorry to be forcing my the things that I like onto you guys on Twitch. I know that's unacceptable, but faces are pretty cool. It's just like, it doesn't even have like wrinkles or anything like the male Protoss do. It's just like a flat area. It's weird. You gotta face the facts, guys. Do you think the Odin's actually made out of steel? Like they have all this other stuff. I guess Neo Steel is what it's called, isn't it? What's wrong with that thing? It's gone crazy. Let's see what this baby's. <laughs> I like how I was just walking down the street and Lay's like, it's crazy. This is bananas. Speak your demands. It followed. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So instead of unlocking the secret mission, you get plus two plus two on the Odin. That's actually pretty bejujular. Really nice job, guys. Or er, Synergy, specifically, considering he's the only guy that gets credit here. Let's see what this baby's. I could take another expansion. Uh, actually, I don't think I need the expansion. I just need the gas here. And there's no gas at this base. And then I'm not going to get attack upgrades. I'm just going to get shield upgrades. And armor. Eh, maybe just shields. It followed me home. Well, that's why I decided to do this here, Rhyme, is because it's a six gas mission. And most missions, you just don't have six gas geysers. Hey, you're my friend now. Oh, he exploded! Oh, I hate it when my friends explode. Ah, oh, happened again. Do I have Dark Archons? I should have gotten Dark Archons. Can you mind control the blimp? Could I have had a blimp? Am I just, like, living my worst life right now because I don't have this blimp? Like, we could have mind-controlled it, attached some bombs to it, and we could be playing Red Alert 2 right now. <sighs> oh, mind control in StarCraft 2 cannot target neutral. You're actually correct about that, I remember. Well, I guess that makes me feel better. Because... I would want the blimp. I'd want it so bad. I actually would restart the mission. <laughs> and then we'd float around with the little blimp. I don't know what I'd do with it, but it would be beautiful. What if we had Karax instead of Odin and have Reclamation? I think that what would happen if this were a newer one of Synergy's campaigns is that it would have been Karax that goes through and he uses Reclamation on the Odin, that sort of thing. Or it would have been just like a giant hunk of solarite that you go around. Like uh, one of those Zelnaga Guardians from the third campaign, except it's painted bright yellow. And it's just a giant hunk of solarite going around and killing things. That's probably what would happen in a modern synergy campaign, actually. Hey. Right. You don't have jurisdiction to Banshee here. Except you. Apparently you do. Yeah, we're going to use the Arbiter Harass Technique. Or... Arbiter Defense? So the real question is, how much damage does a... Oh ho ho ho! 6.66 DPS. What a beast.
Nailed it. I'm actually going to have excess minerals, so I'm going to cannon this area up so they don't take it. So how long does this last? 15 seconds. I'm going to need a good number of these. Maybe like 15. And then I'm going to need a warp gate for warping in. Probably a dark shrine. Uh, actually, the rebuildy zealot might be good. I could like warp in a good number of them. I like that idea. I think that's safe. Zerg Psychotic raiding with a party of one. Thank you so much. Good thing my Odin has 2-2. Two, two. Boop. I think I'm ready to go soon. This seems like enough. I'm going to take the easiest angle first. And the more difficult ones will happen later. I will have to kill this building. I don't think buildings count as people. Did he EMP? No! Why do they have EMP? Okay. Hmm. Well, there goes my idea. I guess the other places don't have EMP? I'll have to figure this one out later. I'll have to be real sneaky about this one. Okay, I'm just going to kill these. Then I'm going to regenerate energy. So I think the challenge, the way that I phrased it was I didn't want to kill anything while I was doing the captures. So I think that it's uh, somewhat okay. I'm going to try to not kill anything in bases one and two. But base three had extenuating circumstances that changed, changed the deal. Pray I don't change it any further. By the way, guys, I might not be streaming tomorrow because I feel like I'm losing my voice and I might need to rest it because it would be really bad if I lost it. I'm still not decided. It depends on how I feel tomorrow, but I will try to make an announcement at least a few hours beforehand if I end up not being able to stream. Let's see what this baby Oh, uh, we can kill the building. Um. Oh, I got it. Haha! Strike team Charlie, get to that tower. Bring down those rebels. Whoa! 
I think that was pretty good. Yeah, they send a... L oh. Okay, fine. It's okay, I have the gas. That's all that matters. So it's obviously not possible to get everything, but I'm going to do my best, and I think I did pretty decent there. Okay, I'm going to go try the next one. So this is my main base now. Let's get... I think they're going to chill at the tower, yeah. They're defense waves, technically, not attack waves. I'm hoping that that means that, like, he ends up maxing out and isn't able to build anything, because that would be really funny. Here we go again. Um, Odin? Okay, he's fine. This is so silly. <laughs> Look, the battle cruiser changes it looks at me. It's like, I might be stasis, but I know you're there. It's not a good strategy, but it definitely is a fun one. The other fact is because I'm not killing the bases, they're sending full force attack waves against me constantly, which is... It's a lot. Can I? Nope. The blimp is truly invulnerable. I thought I built more gateways. Yeah. Okay. Odin doing good. Gonna lose a bit here. Very best strike team, Bravo. So, fun fact, when Synergy was originally making this campaign, and it was in testing, there was a little bit that Kerrigan at the end was stasisable, and then he hotfixed it the day before I got to all in and played it. I had wanted to try to spam stasis on Kerrigan and see if you could spawn multiple. But Synergy hates fun, so we didn't get to do that. Um, they killed all my... There we go. <laughs> the good old probe recall <laughs> to s finish the objective.
Oh, it's just regular stasis. Sorry, not void stasis. Now, piercing the shroud. Hmm. I'm afraid the spear of a doom will not be able to assist you inside the temple. Please be careful, Hierarch. Do I want Energizer or do I want Sentry? You know what? I'm going to give the Sentry a go. He deserves a fair shake. You know? No, you can't do anything against Kerrigan now. I've tested everything. Because someday I want to keep a Kerrigan alive forever. It's one of those goals that I have that I have not gotten to accomplish yet. I don't know if it spawns multiple Kerrigans. If it does, that's lovely. But I just want to do it for the sake of having done it. Fried Rebels. Acquiring access. There can be no doubt. So the Firebats are actually stronger in this mission against Protoss than they are normally because they actually get to connect and attack their target. Are we going to be able to run all the way to this? Oh my god, don't kill me! No. Oh no, they released the Zerg. This duty is mine. There can be no doubt. They got out. Straight Very good. Dawn I like that this mission has turned from you have to tactically use your abilities in order to drastically reduce the size of all these forces because they're overwhelming. Using your grenade and stuff like that to uh let's A move a bunch of zealots and some sentries. <laughs> Some balance whiners would say that's how Protoss always is compared to Terra. But we're not here to balance right today because I'm Protoss, so you can't do that. Let's do 70 Zergles because I feel like once the Zergles are done killing everything, they're the best unit to fight. Just get the choke point and laugh at them. Yeah, you're right, Rem. Zergling's definitely loose. The future is ours. Speak. Change is upon us. There can be no doubt. <laughs> they lost against me. <laughs> Everything loses against me except for perdition turrets. Whoa. That was a jiggly boy for a bit. With honor, I lead. So jiggly I thought it was gonna start singing to me. Our path is clear. A bold plan. I thought there was a relic in there. The future is ours. There can be no doubt. Um <laughs> flaming scientist. <We> <laughs> Science is so hot right now. The future is ours. I'm gonna go for the all porpoise cannons. Strength in unity. I I don't know if this is correct, I've just decided to attack through. I'm not losing anything, so it's probably correct. I don't actually have anything to fight. Oh! 
I didn't mean to click on that. Okay, well, um... Crap. Are you guys off cooldown? These two are. We're just gonna dive up. Reduce that damage from 60 to 58. Hey! <laughs> Too close for comfort there, bud. <laughs> Thors have a deceptively long range. Two High Templar, three Instigators, four Melee Warriors, two Robo Supports, or two Melee Warriors. I gotta go for the Templar, right? No, is Instigators cool? How could we instigate things? I don't think we can. As you command. I'm gonna go for the Thigh Templar. Is there a specter up here? There's a ghost. That didn't do as much as I thought it would, the storm. How do I kill... A Brutalisk. I think I just want to make an Archon. So I get a bonus when I unlock this, right? New ability, Force of Will. Shield regenerate increased by 300%. Okay. So we got Tank Tannis now. That's good. We're going to charge in. Storm. Oh, it's a Plasma Surge Storm. Cool. Well. I think I want... Yeah, I know how I want to do this. Yeah, this sentry over here. These guys are going to fight here. We're going to fight next to the health pack, but not activate it. And then once our Tannis starts getting low, I use the health pack to heal up. Oh. Is anyone else getting Scooby-Doo vibes from this? Nailed it. I, this is not the way I thought that that would go, but you know what? I have Resurgence now, so nothing matters. Wait, do I have all the bonuses? Yeah, there's two in the final section. Hey, you gotta exercise your Brutalist pet, guys. It feels like they didn't put that much time into making that part look good. <laughs> Most of Wings is so polished, and then that part just looks completely jank. Oh, apparently a gamble is going on. The gamble is, will I escape with anything besides Artanis? That is a really low bar that I will not manage to reach. Oh, 
I'm gonna get wrecked by the Pigalisks. We all know that. Pigalisks are OP. Go get him, Betty's mom. head this way. I'm gonna open this up and then I'm gonna... Oh, they de it never mind. I think we can just fight this fight. Grab this relic. Oh, no, he died. Yeah, he's still waddling his way over. Alright, guys, here is how it's gonna go. If I get out, if you voted against me being able to get out with anything, and I managed to get out with everything, you gotta give me your prime sub because you're a mean person that voted against me. I know, has Grant become a sellout? Yes. No, of everything that I started with in this section, I started with two Zealots and an Archon. I still have two Zealots and an Archon. Tannis. Go, 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 go. 20 shields. Oh, he got in. We made a deal, guys. If you voted against me. Why is it so slow? <laughs> 